Hey everybody, it's Steve. Uh, hey, need to let y'all in on something here, okay? These uh, trucks by uh, Inscale Addict and uh, produced by Shapeways, you know, they're fantastic. They are totally fantastic, okay? But uh, I run into a situation and it has nothing to do with the truck, the equipment, or Shapeways production. It has nothing to do with it at all, okay? Uh, what I did is I painted one of the Kenworth day cabs and I painted it with as you can see the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch 2X Ultra Cover also bonds to plastic fast drying now this can went on splattery okay so I had to find a way to strip it now when I painted the green it went on perfectly smooth and done fantastic okay so I sprayed the yellow on a Kenworth and it looked terrible because of the paint that it clumped basically okay so now in order to strip I tried the 90% alcohol okay it would not remove that paint okay so I figured okay we'll go to step two I did the scale coat too which is excellent stripper you know and it would not take it off either so i went to the last resort of which i don't like doing it all and that's the testers enamel thinner and brush cleaner okay well this plastic does not like <laughs> it does not like that okay so lesson learned don't use the testers airbrush cleaner for uh, doing anything with these models because they are just the plastic will not withstand the torture <laughs> so I don't know I'll use it for parts somehow but it gives me a good frame anyway but you know that's that's just a lesson uh, be careful what you spray make sure you've got a thinner that is compatible with the type of plastic okay but like I said this has nothing to do with the production of the model or anything it all has to do with my stupidity on what I used to strip it with <laughs> okay anybody's got a better stripper idea out there uh, let me know because uh, if that hadn't worked I'd have probably dipped it in gasoline <laughs> all right y'all have a good one